right. Well, I got another one. Let's see what this is. No idea. Maybe you guys will be happy. Could be a could be a Wenger. That would be a nice change considering that's how I named my channel. So we'll see. I think it might be. Don't have too many coming in. Oh. oh, look at that. It is. I'm actually pretty excited. It's been a while since I've had one of these. Oh, look at that. What a fantastic watch. All right. It won't. Well, whatever. <laughs> I'll put a picture because it's not. It's not uh, zooming in. Oh, here we go. There we go. No. Nope. All right. Well, I'll have this <laughs> this fixed by the time. Um, Alright, let's watch this video. guys so another Wenger now I know you guys have been waiting a while and I appreciate that I've been taking a detour on a lot of different watches but um yeah you've seen those so and in honor of that I'm wearing my very first not my first Wenger but the first Wenger that I did a review on love this watch still is absolutely one of my favorite this is the Seaforce but this what you're here for is the Racer Roadster, or the Roadster Racer. Um, I'll just go over the packaging, of course. This came with it. You guys have seen this before. This is basically describing hacking, so it usually comes like that, and there's usually a little clip in there too. But this is engaged, so it's going ahead and moving. Uh, so toss that to the side, instruction manual. In the case, you know, Wenger doesn't really spend a whole lot of money and time on their cases, which is okay, right? Um, I think you get a fantastic deal. I'm gonna get right into the price. Um, the MSRP is 225, and that is a fantastic deal because this is a good, good quality watch. I mean, you guys know that's why you're here. Many of you uh, started watching this because I was reviewing Wenger's. 225 is a very reasonable price. Uh, I I would not feel uncomfortable paying that. Now I didn't, right? I paid uh, $59.98, and I think with shipping, it was like another $6, but I'll put that up at the top there so you guys can see. I got it on eBay uh, from a uh, gray market seller. Um, this is a good watch. It's new. It's, um, you know, it's still a current model, as far as I know. Uh, of course, if I remove this tag, as you'll see, then I can't return it. <laughs> 
but I have no intention of returning it. I usually keep most of the vengers that I buy because I really do like them. And I'm gonna get this stuff off because I am keeping this one. It's a very stylish look. I really like this watch. This is the Roadster series, and you'll notice the, uh, the case style. I'll take mine off. I always really like, honestly, I like these nylon straps. And I don't want to deter too much from it, but these nylon straps are fantastic. I've um, used this watch for everything. I've gone to the beach with it. And uh, this nylon strap was like 20 bucks. I mean, this is a very nice strap, right? So I don't know that I'd take this off, but if I didn't have this really nice strap, uh, leather strap, I'd probably put a black one similar to this on it, and I'd just rock it, you know, with the silver links instead. But very similar case design. You know, Wenger likes to kind of do uh, similar styling with their, their watches. Um, but yes, so the leather strap is, is actually really nice. So here in Florida, this is what we call Havana style, right? Which is basically a leather strap that looks like it's, it's a little bit used, a little bit worn. It's brand new. It's never been worn. This watch truly is brand new. But it has sort of a faded kind of weathered look and that is such a cool look it's reminiscent of sort of the um kind of cigars and you know the kind of leather stuff that you'd see back then and you know leather tanning and stuff and that's you know sort of the where i live of course is called cigar city that's tampa um so sort of a heritage and of course you have a, a large cuban influence all over south florida where which is where i'm originally from uh and so that's why we down here call this havana style leather which is really cool now, I'll take a, a better picture, but if you can see, the face is textured, which I think is super cool. Uh, I really like that. Kind of gives it sort of a sort of a roadster kind of uh, wheel look, which I know is sort of intentional. Now, of course, it has a tachyometer around the end. I'm not really sure that you would necessarily use that. I mean, you know, but it's it's more for style, of course. But fantastic watch. I love the way it looks. I mean, I truly love this watch. The uh, the movement, of course, it is Swiss. And I'll put a picture of it right there. It's a Ronda 515, 515S. I should be uh, very specific about that. The 515S is uh, slightly more efficient than the original 515. It's um, more efficient use of power, I guess is the right way to say it. It, uh, it lasts... What is it like 40, uh, 40 weeks, or, I'm sorry, 40 months. So longer than the original 515, which, which usually was only like 32 or 36. So, um, you know, with the full hacking feature installed, um, enabled, right? Like, so when you go and, and leave your watch, you just pull that out and then you're good. Uh, and it, it will use, it'll stop and it'll use less power. But it's a Ronda 515. It is a Swiss made, not a Swiss parts. It, you can see in the picture it says Swiss R9. Uh, and it's a one joule movement. It's not too expensive. I think brand new, they're probably, what, like $10, $12. Um, you know, they have a nicer one. I think the 5, 515.24. I don't know. There's one that I've, I, there's a couple that I've had that are uh, gold plated and they're really nice. If I can find one, I'll put a picture up here somewhere um all right uh we'll get right into the crystal the crystal is sapphire coated and i think it even says it in the back and you can see it there somewhere sapphire coated where's it yep sapphire coated crystal so that's a three layer crystal it's similar to all the other companies that do um you know it's it's much cheaper just uh coat uh hardened mineral crystal than it is to actually cut a piece of sapphire it's certainly cheaper they basically superheat sapphire and put three layers over it it makes it just as scratch resistant as sapphire but it is not impact resistant so of course if i drop this face down on the concrete it'll probably crack the glass but it'll be a flawless glass it won't be scratched right but if i was to go like oh you know crap whatever that's impervious um, because it is sapphire coated and the sapphire is protecting it so that's fantastic uh, again love the design it's polished on the side 316 stainless steel i'm sorry brushed on the side everywhere 316 stainless steel and polished on the bezel bezel does not rotate but that's okay um, the name is on the face 
on the back, on the, on the strap, and on the buckle, which is also brushed. But again, love this strap, it is so nice. All right, let's get into the measurements. And this one's a keeper. Unfortunately, because it's not like I don't have enough watches, right? I mean, I only have two wrists and really I'm only gonna wear one. So 42. Lug, I'm gonna guess 22. It seems to be the common size. Yep, 22. And let's guess 13, 12 and a half. Damn, I am so wrong. Why am I always wrong about these? <laughs> 11, okay. Uh, and the lug to lug. Right. 40, uh, we'll say 48. I think it's a good 48 or 47 and a half. We'll say 48. Okay. And we'll do the weight. Has some weight to it. Does not feel cheap. Of course, it's a Venger, so you get what you get. Seventy. Without all the other crap attached to it, 70. Perfect. So it's a fantastic watch. And I love this thing. Um, it is so fantastic. I'm gonna put it on right now that you can see what it looks like. I have seven and a half inch wrists, just as an FYI. Perfect, nice, love it. Looks great, fantastic, perfect. All right, if you guys like this and you wanna see more Vengers, let me know, because <laughs> I'm kind of running out of them, uh, but I'll start looking some more for those. Um, if you have any comments, leave them in the comment section and otherwise give me a like and please register or subscribe, whatever. Thanks.